What is up, Saxy Beast Crazy Rabbit here, and today we're going to be doing the Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23 or the Jet Gun on Round 50, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. So it's only taken me a couple years to actually get this footage, and can you blame me? That means I have to play Transit. And does anyone really want to do that? But I decided that, hey, I really need this footage for the All Call of Duty Zombies Wonder Weapons video, so I just bent over, took it for a couple hours, and decided to get to round 50 on transit. And that was not a fun 50 rounds, let me tell you, that was so fucking long and boring, and I will probably never ever do that again. I think I'm all transited out for like a couple years, I think I got my transit fill in. So the jet gun does do an infinite amount of damage, so it's always gonna kill, and you basically have an unlimited amount of ammo. But there are just so many downsides with this weapon. One, it takes forever to recharge. I think it takes like a minute and 40 seconds for it to fully recharge. Two, you don't get any points from it because this is not a weapon. It actually counts as an equipment. So similar to like the shield or something like that. So you don't get any points for this weapon. Three, you run hella slow with this thing out. And four, there's always that risk that you're going to break it. And if you break it, you have to build the whole thing over again. So the jet gun is just such a pain in the ass. And I can definitely see why a lot of people absolutely hate it. But I mean, if you want to look at like the facts and everything, it's one of the best wonder weapons ever because it does an infinite amount of damage and you don't have any ammo. So I guess in the long run, this thing like trumps almost every other single wonder weapon. But in reality, it sucks huge major balls. And it can kind of be very, very dangerous to use because you kind of have to get those zombies up close and personal to you for the jet gun to actually kill them. And when you're sucking in the zombies, you really don't have that much control of where you're going. So you really have to be careful about that. And that's actually how I ended up dying on this run because I want to use the jet gun until it broke just to see how many zombies I could actually take out before this thing broke. But I severely overestimated how fast the jet gun can actually kill or I severely underestimated how much those zombies want to kill me because I ended up going down. So if you ever happen to be going to high rounds on transit, don't try to use the jet gun to its fullest because the zombies will probably come over there and gang rape you. And that's not something you want. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you guys can finally stop commenting the jet gun on round 50 because here it is, I will never play transit ever again unless my computer like crashes and I lose all the footage. So if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.